guys, welcome to My So Bliss. Today I'm going to show you how to make these darling jammies. It comes with the top, just like this, with cuffs on it, and then the pants that have cuffs at the bottom. They're super cute, super quick and easy, and the perfect project. I'm giving mine to my boys for Christmas so that they can wear them Christmas Eve. I'm super excited about them because they can wear them all winter long. Um, and they're just going to be super cute and comfortable and they just love these kind of jammies. So the supplies that you're going to need are first your fabric. And I used this tree fabric that I just love. I'll put a link down below for where I got it. And then I just got this um, rib knit at Joann's that I just paired with it. And I just love how it turned out together. This is my smaller set and I'll show you guys how to make the bigger set. I got both of these sets out of one yard of the tree fabric. And then I got a quarter yard of this rib knit and I have a bunch of that left over. So depending on what size you're making is gonna depend on how much fabric you need. So look at the pattern, which I'll put a link down below for that. You can get the pattern at Peekaboo Pattern Shop. If you haven't noticed, I really like their patterns for kids. They're quick, easy, the instructions are awesome, um, and they're just great overall patterns. They fit really good. So I'll put a link down to the pattern below and down to the fabric as well. Then you're also going to need some elastic, and also depending on what size you need is how wide you need it. I know that she suggests um, three fourths for the smaller sizes and an inch wide for the larger sizes. And then depending on the child's um, waist size is how much you're going to need. So just have some of that on hand and then you're just going to need all of your basic sewing supplies. So let's get started. For our first step, you need to lay your front and back shirt pieces right sides together. And I'm gonna match up my shoulder seams. So here's one shoulder seam and here's the other one. And then I'm gonna go over to my serger and I am going to be using a serger for this. If you don't have a serger, that's okay. You don't have to use your serger. You can use a sewing machine and on your sewing machine, you can use the zigzag stitch because that will stretch when the clothes stretch. When you're sewing with a stretchy fabric and it's going to have to stretch over the body, you want to make sure that the, that the stitches are going to stretch as well so that they won't break. So if you just use a straight stitch, that's going to break. So that's why we're using a zigzag stitch or your machine might have a stretch stitch. So check your machine and see if it has one of those. If not, a zigzag stitch. A zigzag stitch is just fine. So I'm gonna be using my serger, but know that when I say serger, I also mean using your sewing machine. So just keep that in mind. So I'm gonna go over to my machine and I'm going to stitch those shoulder seams just straight across. Now, once those shoulder seams are sewn, then we're gonna take it and open it up just like I have here. I have it laying flat on my table and I'm gonna take my sleeve, just one of them, and I'm gonna lay it right sides together and I'm gonna match up the center of my sleeve with my shoulder seam. So I'll lay that right there and then I'll pin that in place. And then I'm gonna take the side of my sleeve and I'm gonna match that up with the side of the top. And it doesn't matter if it's the front or the back, we're just gonna match up that side piece and you do kind of have to maneuver it a little bit so there I have it matched up and then I'll take the other side and match that up and pin that in place and then kind of lay it back out again then I can go along and fit the sleeve into that space that is left over and just kind of line it up and this is a good time to pin so that it holds in place and is ready to go and you're not messing with it while you're sewing. So once I have that side pinned then I can go to the other side and do the same thing. Now that that's pinned I'm going to take it over to my machine and I'm just going to stitch right along the sleeve and that's attaching the sleeve to the top. After you've sewn those sleeves on, you're going to have this big awkward kind of shaped piece, but we're going to lay it. So hold those shoulder seams and we'll just lay it right sides together and it'll fold in half just like a t-shirt. Your sleeve should fold in half 
And then we're gonna go along and match up those raw edges. So I'll match up my sleeves and then I'll just go straight down and I can match up the seam that I made with the sleeves and line that up and then keep going down the top, matching up the front and the back of the top all the way to the bottom and I'm gonna match that up. So then I can go over to my sewing machine once it's all pinned and sew straight down all the way down to the end of my sleeve and it's just gonna be one, one stitch. So I'll do that on one side and then I'll go to the other side and do the exact same thing. Once you have your shirt sewn, then we're going to prepare the neckband. So here I have my neckband piece and I'm gonna fold it long ways with right sides together. And I'm gonna match up the short ends and I'm gonna go over to my machine and sew right across this short end. Now before you place the neckband onto the shirt, I found the center front and the center back. We're gonna use those to place the neckband. So now I can take my neckband and I'm gonna open it up right sides out and I'm gonna fold it in half so the wrong sides are together and all you see are the right sides and the raw edges are matching up. For me it's a little bit easier when I just pin it a few times so that it holds that shape. Because if not I feel like I just keep going around in circles and I'm just playing with it. So let's see. And I'm just lining up those raw edges, folding it in half. Now before I place it onto my shirt, I'm actually going to fold my neckband in half. I'm gonna hold the seam that we just created and then fold it in half and find that halfway point. So I think I might have marked it with my pin already, but if not, I can move my pin. Yeah, so that pin is my halfway point. So I'll just leave that as it is. Cause then I can take it over to my shirt and we're just gonna kind of put the neckband into the top of the shirt and I'm gonna line up the seam that we just created with the neckband with the back of the shirt. So I'll match those pins up and then repin it. And then I can go to my front and do the same thing. So with that center front and that center pin, and I'm matching all the raw edges up. So make sure it's not your folded edge, but it's your raw edge that you're matching. And pin that into place. And then I can go around, and you're gonna stretch your neckband just slightly to fit all the way around the shirt. So I'm just going to stretch it, make sure it's an even stretch from one pin in the back to the pin in the front and then I'll go around and pin that in place and then I can go over to my machine and stitch that down. Now this is what it should look like after you have it sewn. So then I'm bringing it back over to my table and flipping the neckband out and I can just press it with my fingers or you could take it over to your um, iron and press that down. And if you want, you can also do a straight stitch right along um, not on the neckband, but just inside the shirt, catching the seam that you just created all the way around the neckband. And that will create a nice finish. I don't personally like doing that um, to most of the tops that I make with knits. So I'm just going to leave it as is and make sure I just give it a really nice press. But that is an option for you. Once your neckband is all finished, then we can set the shirt off to the side. And we're going to take our armband pieces and we're going to do pretty much the exact same thing that we did with our neckband, but with these bigger pieces. So I'm gonna fold it so they're right sides together. Folding long ways, just like that. I'm gonna take this over to my machine and I'm gonna stitch right down this long line on both pieces. Now once those armband pieces are sewn, I'm going to turn them so that the right sides are out and the raw edges are matching up. So I just matched up those seams that I just made and folded it in on itself so the only right sides are facing out. And I'll do that to both pieces. But next I can take that one piece and I'm gonna bring it over to my sleeve. Here's one sleeve and I'm gonna stick the sleeve inside. And again, I'm gonna match up the raw edges and I'm gonna match up the seam of the shirt, well, the seam of the sleeve to the seam of the cuff. 
That way it's just gonna look really nice once it's sewn, if all the seams are matching. So I'll match that up and pin that in place and then I can um, fit the rest of it around the cuff and pin that in place. And then I'll take that over to my machine and sew those pieces together. And I'll do that to both sleeves. Once your sleeves cuffs are sewn, the last thing we have to do for the top is going to be the hem. So what you're going to do is you're gonna fold it under three fourths of an inch. And I'll take mine over to my iron and do this as well so that it gets a nice, um, a nice hem and nice pressing. So I'll fold it and I, I will measure it as well once I get over there. So I'll measure it up three fourths of an inch and iron that down and then I'll go over to my sewing machine and this time you want to make sure to use a sewing machine or a cover stitch machine and you're going to finish off the hem. You can do a zigzag stitch or a double needle stitch or a stretch stitch. Um, on these I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch because it's quick and easy and my machine is already threaded for it whereas I would have to re-thread it for the double needle. So I'm just going to do that. So. Turn it under three fourths of an inch, iron it down, and then go stitch it down. Now, after you are done hemming the bottom of your shirt, you are all done with the shirt. Now, I actually made a second video for the pants so that you guys could easily access it. If you're doing the shirt first or the pants first, you could pick and choose which video you want to click. So I'll put the link down below of where you can access the pants video. Your pajamas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to give these as presents and to give them to my kids and to continue this tradition every year. So make sure to leave any questions you might have in the comments down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe. And if you want to see more pictures or tips or tutorials, check out my Instagram at mysobliss and I will see you guys next time. Bye!